let me tell you a beautiful story full of adventure and intrigue. One day we arrived to... No, 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 that's not right. Wrong tone, wrong mood. Hang on a second, let's try this again. Okay, that's better. On December 17th, we packed all of our belongings, stuffed our two cats and three chickens and pet carriers, and we went on a one-way trip. We arrived at Livingston, Tennessee, December 24th. The population here is around 4,000, which is exactly what we were looking for. This is what we saw when we arrived. We had a lot of work to do. Building a safe enclosure for our chickens was top priority because they were living in our living room, and that got smelly really quick. We made the mistake of getting a rooster. Then bam, more chicks. We didn't have what we needed to raise them outside, so inside the house they went again. They grew up, and we had our other chicken hatch two more of our own. Inside the house they went again. We kept building our, ha <laughs> ha, chicken palace, which is what we call it. The race has been on since to be ready for winter 2023. We're at a total of 16 chickens and roosters with two more on the way. Who said pigeons are the rats with wings? <laughs> because things weren't quite ready, we continued sheltering our chickens inside the house as the cold winter continued. The snow's really pretty and we love the views this time of year, although we're scared to drive in the remote roads because, you know, uh, ice and stuff. Deer came by and grazed on our yard. I think it's because of the uneaten greenery. They didn't seem to mind us until suddenly they scooted away to some other yard for some reason. Soon it was spring, we knew this because Fairway Frank came out to look around. Fairway Frank is a groundhog that lives down the road. He keeps a close eye on everything that's going on in the neighborhood. There's so much nature out here and we had a at least three baby birds fall out of their nests. We tried to rescue them and did what we could, but hopefully we could do better in 2023. As things got warmer, all the trees started turning green and uh, we started to do stuff outside. But it's tons of fun and we're still just in awe of how beautiful everything is out here. Guns are easy to buy and fun to shoot. So far, so good. Hopefully we don't have any mishaps here. We made absolute fools of ourselves at first, but these days Sammy's hitting five out of five clay targets. Stacy and I are getting better too. We visited friends in Texas and they have a pond. It's a good workout to paddle around in the canoe. You have to watch out for snakes swimming in the water. They have geese, fish, frogs. It's all part of the ecosystem there. When we're feeling stressed, we go on drives to explore the countryside or the forests. What I've learned being here for a year is that water is a source of life for all kinds of creatures. Water means leaves, which means bugs have food to eat, which means birds, reptiles, and small mammals have bugs to eat, and so on. It rains all year round here. Warm summer rains are the best. We can go on a walk in the warm rain, and if you get wet enough, you don't have to take a shower that day. <laughs> you know me. After the rains, there are beautiful sunsets here and you don't have to go far to see one. A strong storm took down a hundred year old tree. In this case, our tree fell over on the other side, which is a cell tower property. We gave them a call. They came and got it all taken care of. Because of other trees that have fallen over on our property, we had to buy a chainsaw and figure out how to use it. I think we're getting the hang of it now. Dale Hollow Lake is our favorite spot to go and enjoy the views, but Standing Stone State Park is just as close and really cool too. Really though, when it rains, the sound is so peaceful and the mosquitoes leave you alone for a little bit, so that's nice too. The earth stays moist all year round and uh, because of that many things grow naturally like onions, strawberries, raspberries, and more. Fish, squirrels, butterflies, bees, geese, turtles, praying mantises, whatever this is, centipedes, spiders, voles, chickmunks, possums, deer, caterpillars, armadillos, hawks, bald eagles, falcons, woodpeckers. There's so much to list it all here. We're just in awe of all the nature that surrounds us. And for those of you that know me, I'm running around filming as much nature as I can with my phone or camera. My brother got us a trail cam and that's a whole nother way to capture nature around here. I'll upload some clips when I get a chance. Turns out we have a family of possums that like to come by and eat our dog food. I've been trying to figure out what some of these creatures are. If you have any ideas, let me know. Fall was amazing. The leaves fall constantly. Uh, yeah, that sounds uh, <laughs> obvious. And if I don't clear the steep driveway, cars might not make it up because the wheels just start spinning and spinning. It's fun to get out there with the leaf blower and handle business. We're getting settled in pretty good. Everything is ready for when you visit us and we can't wait to see you. The toughest part of living in paradise is missing our friends and family.